But men, here's my question. I want to ask you. Adam was given two things in the garden. If you want to write these down, you can. He was given authority, and he was given responsibility. He was given authority, and he was given responsibility. He was given authority over the garden. He was given authority to lead his home one day. He was given authority by the power of God's word. But he was also given the responsibility of doing it. And one of the problems that I'm seeing in marriages all across our country today, even in the church, is the man wants the authority, but he doesn't want the responsibility. Men will actually walk into their house and proclaim the fact that they're a leader. They will tell their wives, the Bible says I'm a leader and I'm the leader. Nah, 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 nah. And men, <laughs> just a quick memo, if you're quoting the submission verses to your wife, it, like, that's not good. Because she's not going, oh yes, thank you, oh priest of the house. I mean, that's probably not happening. Man, my question for you, and we're going to come back to this in a little while, is are you willing to receive the responsibility for leading your family spiritually and providing for your family financially? Because God, in the Scripture, gave Adam authority and he gave him responsibility. And I believe one of the problems, once again, in our country today, is very few men are willing to step up and say to God, I will lead my family. I will provide for my family. I will take care of my family. My family is not going to drag me to church on Sunday morning. I'm bringing my family to church on Sunday morning. My family's not going to know more about the Word of God than me. I'm going to be the priest of my house and lead my family. Men, whether we like it or not, we've been but given authority by God to lead, but, but to lead, but we've also been given responsibility, and until we embrace that, our marriages are never going to be where they need to be.